have our second mm -hmm. guest with us in the studios. Mm -hmm. Before you get to meet him, he has, just like our first guest, um, I, I, I think he even has many more feathers, you know, to his cap. But before we get to meet him, let's take this musical video that is titled One Nigeria Project, and then you get to meet our guest. Please stay. Mm -hmm. Now is my time, I've got a destiny, I will shine, I've got a victory, I am Nigeria, I am a champion, number one, oh yes I can, Nigeria, the land is green, Nigeria, full of opportunity. And um, well, with that musical, we want you to join us in welcoming this morning um, a member of the Chartered Institute of Public Relations, um, the United Kingdom, and also the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations. Um, he is an international award winning motivator. He is um, a management and leadership consultant. Okay, he's a public speaker, he's a public relations photographer, and he is a musician. Well, that was. So one side to him that which, I just saw. What do you want me to say? You just said everything. My darling. Eh? <laughs> Only you wearing this. Uh -uh. I just saw that Only side you. to him now. <laughs> Jermaine. Jermaine. Join us as we welcome Jermaine. Jermaine so to the <laughs> studios of Morning Ride. I'm sure for viewers, you must have seen him on this show before. Yeah. You're welcome, Jermaine. Thank you very much. Good to have you again nice on Morning Ride. Too. Thank you very much. Let me even begin with that music. This music <laughs> business. In fact. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah that is, is it is it well well to all in, in all the, the feathers to the cap mm. that we, we can find they are driving towards one objective yes one they are. let's first of all ex x-ray the musical aspect mm. of it yeah well this music thing is it something that is has been in you or you just realized i can use this part of it to send my message well what, what, um, what? It, thank you very much it's great to be on morning ride with you um mm -hmm. too and it's great and um, well the music has always been in me and um i used to sing a lot back then but i just um realized that music has a powerful mm. um it's a powerful tool to communicate a message within three minutes to three minutes and a half um you are able to pass across a message that you may be doing for 30 minutes of a speech mm. and if you have catchy bits catchy um hooks you are able to um let it be ingrained in people's heart i i, I know that many of you you may remember some of the um nursery school rhymes that you mm. um always that you they used to recite when you're in school so those music adding words to tunes and to beat always um, meet people and I wanted to communicate with the with the demographic the young people in our in our country and let, let's say the youthful people and because they love music they love the entertainment scene mm -hmm. and once you're able to pass that positive message of Nigeria one new Nigeria not the bad um, view that we have of Nigeria many people have of Nigeria not working so in that music video I just said you know what let's communicate that um, changing nature and changing face of Nigeria to the rest of the world and let's inspire people to start dreaming big for Nigeria. Mm. And that explains why we are looking at the topic, the mm. branding, the branding Nigeria mm. in the eyes of the world. Yes. That's what you want to tell us, how mm. you are doing it in your own little yes, corner. Definitely. I want to ask you this, mm. Jermaine. You know, we hear so much mm. about rebranding Nigeria. Mm. Yeah. It's a it has even become a cliche. <laughs> yes. And these days, people don't seem to want to believe when they hear, you know, this mm. anymore. Mm. But I know that you have been driving this for about four years mm. now, going. Yeah. How has it been for you? What has the reception, the level of acceptance or rejection been like to this, your vision for Nigeria? Great. Um, well, I'm based in the United Kingdom and I run a company called Diaspora PR. 
And my initial goal was to showcase the best of the best of the diaspora, to put them out on the forefront. Because uh, many people just see diaspora, Nigerian diaspora and say maybe they are washing plates or they are doing some kind of hard labor jobs in the UK. Some are, but the majority of them, are, of, of us, are professionals. We are doing great things there. Mm -hmm. And we are like ambassadors to the international community. It's what they see from us there in the UK, in America, in Switzerland, in Portugal, around the world, is what the impression they have of Nigerians. So I wanted to now capture the great work they are doing there. And we've launched the, the, the Diaspora Lifestyle Mm -hmm. um, blog and magazine that showcases um, the best of the best of the diaspora, especially Nigerian diaspora, because there is a culture that we have within us. We are creative, we are innovative, we are enthusiastic. Wherever we go, we're gracious. We want to achieve whatever we can do. Nigeria, they say, Nigeria, they carry last. Oh. You understand? That never say die attitude, that positive mentality um, is engraved in our being. So, how do we now communicate that to the world rather than the negative? drugs, um, um, trafficking, all manner of things that people try to associate um, with Nigerians. So I said, let's put that to the front. Now, I know what you said about propaganda, that it may seem like if um, um, people have been trying to do this a lot mm -hmm. of After times, while, we don't hear, we don't hear about, about it. It, it, it seems, it's not the same way. It, it, yeah, it seems people just come and want to make money and just put one program out, they pump a lot of money into it, um, whether it be to great people, great nation, that one Nigeria, mm -hmm. or um, change begins with me. But, um, and it just fades away. Now, I'm saying that yes, the government has tried. Why this thing has not been so successful is because um, we've left it to the government alone. alone. It, we now have to have the citizens have to have ownership of that rebranding effort. Okay. We have to say that rebranding re re Nigeria starts with me. Mm. I am Nigeria is a collection of people that was called Nigeria. So without Nigerians, there is no Nigeria. And without Nigerians rebranding themselves and saying, you know what, I'm going to put across that positive image of change, of optimism, of doing the right thing the right way to get the right results for our nation and take it in the right direction, we're not going to see that kind of image. So I believe we as Nigerians now have to take responsibility to brand ourselves. And it all starts with perception. You in the media, you know, we know that um, perception um, is we're close to say reality. Mm -hmm. And how do we, first of all, perceive ourselves as Nigerians and before the world perceives us? Mm -hmm. Do we see ourselves as low? Do we have the right self-esteem about ourselves? Are we saying, oh, Nigeria is just mm -hmm. hard, things are bad, you know? Like would I really negative, make it bad. negative mindset? Mm -hmm. When we start having that positive view about Nigeria, so people will say, I should be better in Nigeria. So like, when will they get better? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. in my generation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not saying, you know what, it's going to get... Power of the tongue. Power of the tongue. And I like that you said that because mm -hmm. when we are living in our, in our personal lives, mm -hmm. we normally talk about positive things about ourselves, mm -hmm. about our business. Our children, our family. Yes. Family. How much more about the nation about that we live, mm -hmm. that houses our lives and our businesses. Let's start talking positivity and let's own those efforts. Mm -hmm. And I believe the government now has to say, okay, how do we look for engaging ways, ways that connect with the youths, connect with the elder, um, elderly generation, let there be a synergy, harmony, and say, how can there be citizen ownership of the mm -hmm. rebranding effort? And how, it's possible. That's that, that just exactly what I was going to ask you. You said something about your mission goal, mm. exposing the best of the best mm. of the diaspora. Yes. Let's, let's look at specific ways you mm -hmm. are doing this. Yes. How are you selling Nigeria? Specific ways. Is it through a food, a culture, or in what ways do you do this thing to rebrand Nigeria? A, a, a lot of ways, thanks a lot. Selling so well. Selling so well, yeah. I, I, we, um, being a PR because I, I do some photography and I do um, some videography. So we always try and capture um, what they are, what Nigerians are doing through mm. photos, through videos, mm. and we push it out there to the world. I published Diaspora Lifestyle magazine, mm. and we're able to push that out there. So whenever um, a, a Caucasian, a white person, mm. um, an Amer American gets hold of the magazine, they say, "Okay, this is what Nigerians are doing. This mm. is great." Mm. And I try and, and, and represent Nigeria well. Mm. Always talk positive. Always look mm. positive. Always try and you know carry uh, myself as a Nigerian, the, mm. the the new generation of Nigerians mm. rising out there. Mm. And I believe many people can do. It. I know that. I have my responsibility to do that and so do do we but now I've said that well, I've done that in the diaspora and I'll say okay I want to come Oh. home and do wow. that too wow. you understand that's why i set up this one new nigeria campaign mm -hmm. um it was um it's, it, i'm using that media also to to communicate that change i realized that people are engaged with media mm -hmm. social media on whatsapp mm -hmm. on facebook twitter mm -hmm. they're always sharing something the mm -hmm. kind of video whatever i said let me do that video and also i've gone if you go to one new nigeria.org mm -hmm. you see a lot of videos with celebrities mm -hmm. um such as ay ay show we have um, mm -hmm. um even simi the musician mm -hmm. and we have julie 
Julius Agu, we have Ali Baba, we have a lot of these notable personalities, um, praise also, even the band okay. carried our flag too, okay. and said he believes in this one, this, this cause, you understand? Okay. So people are saying, so the way I did that was strategic, strategic, because I know that these are stakeholders in the community, mm -hmm. these are people that people listen to, mm -hmm. if they can talk about this, then we can do this. It's the same thing about selling a brand, maybe um, one of these soft drinks. Mm. You see the superstars on, on the billboards, yes. they are posing. Why can't we pose for Niger? Mm. Why okay. can't we why brand can't ourselves? We why can't we sell Niger, mm. you know, with celebrities and everything? So yeah, I believe right. it's a new culture we must embrace. I don't know you're a sweet talker. Mm. You can't take that away from me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just slow down a bit. Okay. I don't, let me ask you this. Have yes. you, against your wish, have mm. you had any cause to say anything negative? about Nigeria and what you do? Mm. Well, at times you see some things that you're like, oh my. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I look at this down, like we're, we're like 57 um, years, you know, we are a growing democracy mm. and um, we, we, we have a long way to go. America, Britain, they've been around yeah. for, you know, yeah. centuries, well, you yes. know, America, so many years. And we cannot compare ourselves with mm. them, you understand, the transport system and everything. We have our natural growing process. Mm. We cannot look at um, Nigeria and say, okay, you cannot expect a baby to be walking mm -hmm. or competing well, in the Olympics. Yeah. No, 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 no. We are still in our infancy um, stage as a nation, mm -hmm. and I believe we can go. So at times, you are tempted to, but you just be like, no. We go better. Well, I, I, exactly, Niger. exactly. Yeah. Because you know? the language now, uh, how you pass it across, <laughs> there are issues that are so glaring that you yes. cannot do but talk about them. True. But some that are saying, which country we don't die, God forbid. Mm. There's a the way you can sugarcoat it mm -hmm. and, and make and it present positive. It, and make it positive mm. while Absolutely. trying to really, really. Um, paint it in a, in a good picture and tell the story. Yes, the you're absolutely yes. right. Now, I want to ask you this question. You know, mm -hmm. um, you've done so much and mm -hmm. you're still doing. Mm -hmm. The government is also doing so mm -hmm. much, you know, on its own part. Mm -hmm. You being out there, mm -hmm. you know, you, you're outside Nigeria, mm -hmm. um, you're getting first hand um, experience mm -hmm. of how Nigeria as a nation exactly. and Nigerians are perceived. Mm -hmm. All of these efforts. Have they in any way paid off internationally for Nigeria? Well, I believe um, they have. You know, How? they have. When you look at it, um, in first of all, let's take um, the president, um, the um, leader of our nation right now. When he came out and when he became the president, and people saw him as a man of integrity who was going to be fighting against fighting corruption, the whole perception of Nigerians began to change. Because, um, as Jomato will say, everything rises and falls mm -hmm. on leadership. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so once our leader is seen to be integral, a man of integrity, then we can now, people are now saying, okay, Nigerians, maybe there's a chance whereby they are getting better. So that made the work a bit easier. Mm -hmm. You understand? Everything starts and ends with leadership. It, mm -hmm. it blocks off in them. But also, in, if that is political leadership, there's mm -hmm. also personal leadership, leadership that we must embrace and say, mm -hmm. how am I going to live my life, lead my life in the right direction? Mm -hmm. Leadership is about influence and inspiring others to achieve a goal, a common goal. So if um, I'm able to influence my family members, if I'm able to influence my friends, those in my church, those in my mosque, those in the civil society charities, mm -hmm. then that's how we're going to be able to impact the world as a whole. Mm -hmm. And in the UK, in the diaspora as a whole, um, they, 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 people are doing great things to try and bring about that change. But mm -hmm. I realized that when you are in the UK, you are in the diaspora, you are mm -hmm. talking on social media, yeah. everything, that is distant communication. Exactly. You know, exactly. it's like a long distance relationship. Exactly. <laughs> you understand? You're not on ground. You're not, You're not on ground you know to feel, to yeah. hold, to caress, to embrace the one that you say you love. So I said, okay, we must start coming exactly. home to Nigeria. We must come and start running projects and many diasporans are actually doing that but I'm seeing intensify I've said okay at least let me come home every month mm -hmm. you understand it's the financial um, sacrifice but I'm saying you know what it's what the, it's what if we don't start sacrificing mm -hmm. for our nation what are we going to sacrifice mm -hmm. for and I'm not a sacrifice for myself it's for my children my children's children to have yeah, a great nation um, to, 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 to call their home so that would I even say okay now I'm, I'm in the diaspora I'm going to come and do a lot and I say okay that's the diaspora lifestyle that I've done there I'm going to bring it home mm -hmm. I'm going to have the Nigerian lifestyle, lifestyle. magazine mm -hmm. oh. not just talk about what the diasporans are doing, doing but what, what are Nigerians, Nigerians doing? doing and believe you me when I when, as I'm coming I'm seeing Nigerians are doing fantastic yeah. things yeah. Here, but you know what, Jermaine, bound. you're one of the very few mm. out there who mm. believe that you know you should come home 
and plow back into the society mm. and try to rebrand from here mm. out there mm -hmm. what about those other ones there who do not even think that they have anything to come and do here at all mm. who believe that you know yes there is no power so that there's no way they can come to invest mm. there's no way they can come to set up businesses and all of that what how do you begin to change their mindset because they can say oh yes it's good for you mm. because maybe you don't need some of these things you know mm. to really be on ground and functional for you to perform yeah. but that they need these things which we do not have mm -hmm. how do we begin to change their mindset well um, I would like to take, use that. It's a great question. The, the, the um, um, one that um, the UK, um, the Nigerian government has embraced. Change mm. begins with me. With me. You understand? So if I say, um, I believe that change will start with me. You understand? How do I change their mindset? Let me be an example. You understand? Let me lead the way. Let me go there and start doing it. Even when you don't need some of the things that they will need to yes. set up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Because there, there are some challenges that they may face coming on to try and set up. But there are also opportunities that they can do. You know, many people feel that some diaspora opportunity feel that, you know what, mm -hmm. if I come to Nigeria, maybe it's for political appointment to mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. You understand what you're going to get from the nation. But also, some are also thinking, you know, which uh, the majority they are saying, what am I going to give to the country? Exactly. What am I going to do? That things are not getting better, but how am I going to set up a solar plant here to help a community, one community? Mm. How am I going to invest in agriculture? Mm. How am I going to invest in the real estate? You understand? Many people are trying to do it. How am I going to invest in the um, um, health sex service in Nigeria? So once people start following through me i'm using media i'm saying you know what i'm going to try and do it i'm trying to get visibility towards it and let other people see mm. what we are doing many people are doing it but no one is seeing it mm. they're not what talking I'm about doing, it great, you get what i'm great, saying thank you very much it's, it's yeah it's a, it's a great cause you have we, we cannot say it enough but thank i hope you. you're working closely with the government mm. and don't need the government to achieve what you what you are doing well, it's um, the government definitely they're going to pay a part. Right now, I'm not working with them, but they are aware of it. You know, some of the Lagos state doing. governments. No, um, yeah, 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 exactly. So, and, and at times they say results bring respect. respect. When you are able to deliver, they will yeah. say, okay, yeah, this, yeah. this, you are doing great things, and they'll come on board and do it. Yeah. Them. So I'm not focusing on what they are Trying going to, to come, catch, catch them mm, first, wow. and get one quarter to do whatever mm, appointment. Okay. I'm saying, let me do the work. You understand? Let them see. Let, let them see. You know, let the world see. Let everybody get involved and let let's follow through let let there be times to let them be times to let there be men people like Jermaine that are doing the same thing thank and in so Nigeria much, yeah thank you <laughs> thank you so and I'm so just, much and this you. is um the diaspora lifestyle, the diaspora lifestyle yeah. so magazine. we're expecting have, a Nigerian lifestyle, Nigerian lifestyle magazine. something similar, similar to, to what that. we have here. yeah it's going to be it's online it's going to be it's going to be Nigerian lifestyle TV Nigerian lifestyle blog wow. it's going to be just showcasing the best of the best so if there are charity people in charity the best of the best business, here in Nigeria in Nigeria let's tell the world our story. Mm -hmm. Let's showcase mm -hmm. um, our talents and our story. ability mm -hmm. to Let's the rest of the world. Let's leave the sad stories aside for the oh, while. Right. Yeah. Thank, thank you so thank much thank for being you a part very of much. the show, Jermaine. And it's always good to have you back. I appreciate it. So, um, I guess we're going to be seeing you more often now. Since Def you say you want to be coming home every month. Yes, yes. I'll be coming home every, every month, you know, to um, communicate, to work with people here. Please and tell us. Let yeah. your fans know. This is a signature look. Because even if you're <laughs> music video, you are all, all, all in suit. Yeah. I try to rep my Jana, you know, oh, you know the carry last. You know, all right, yes, oh, my Jana, the carry last. Yeah. Yes, and they can visit NigeriaLifestyleMagazine.com okay. to be okay, able to Nigeria get more information. Right? Send articles, send blogs, send oh, events okay. you are doing. I will show the world what you're doing. That's fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I